Luxembourg has released a report hinting that Turkey is failing to reduce the flow of refugees using the country as a route to the EU. At the end of November, the bloc pledged Ankara 3 billion euro to hold back asylum seekers before they got to Europe. But since then, it seems there's only been a slight reduction in the flow entering the EU. Meantime, Amnesty International has accused Turkey of deporting refugees to war zones. It insists that it has evidence that Turkish authorities have sent back more than 100 people to Iraq and Syria in recent months. The Turkish government's dismissed the claims. I talked to Anna Shea from Amnesty International. The Turkish authorities have been rounding up dozens and perhaps even hundreds of uh, refugees and asylum seekers from near the western border with Europe and then busing them hundreds of kilometers to remote detention centers in Osmania province and Erzurum province and then in some cases uh, forcibly returning people back to Syria and Iraq. And we have three cases of ill treatment in these places of detention. We're raising these concerns and doing this research in order to bring these uh, practices to light and to draw attention to both the Turkish authorities and the European authorities uh, to what we see as credible evidence that abuses are happening.